Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you can see, I am back in the lab. I'm going to try my best to put this video together this week. We've actually had some very heartbreaking news over the weekend about family members, so I'm not going to go into it just now. So perhaps I'm not as vibrant and uh, um, lively as I would usually be but I'm still going to try my best to get this video out because I know how much some of you have been missing the the lab videos and to be honest for me it's a very good distraction from everything that's going on in the world I know that you shouldn't ignore your problems when you have them but sometimes it is good to just try and distract yourself and try to keep busy and keep positive which is what I am trying to do. So I'm going to take you around the lab and show you what I'm up to in my first week back. It's actually quite nice being back in the lab after my little break. I feel like I have come back a bit more motivated to work in the lab again and I don't feel like I don't want to be here which is a, a good sign I would say. Anyway, I'm going to get started with some stuff in the lab. I did do some things yesterday, but I didn't really show it. I wasn't really in the in the mood for it. Um, but I did take some footage yesterday, which I will insert here. I have a new mug to encourage me to stay at uni and to not buy coffee all the time. And here is my bag of snacks that I am going to bring with me and keep in my drawer. So I don't have any excuse to go home if I get hungry because I'll have a whole stash of snacks. That's all my snacks that I'm bringing with me and obviously I've got more of them at home. I'll just replenish them as I go but I've got no excuse that I'll be hungry now in the lab. <laughs> I hope that the fume hood isn't too loud but in yesterday's video you might have seen that I was doing a separation and this is my separation that I've come back to today so we have two nice distinct layers the top layer being secondary butanol the bottom layer being water and I will go into a little bit more detail about what this actually means Hopefully I'm not going to get a sore arm because I'm just using my hand to hold up my phone. Um, but this type of separation is called Kupchan liquid-liquid partitioning and it basically uses different polarities of solvents in order to separate the compounds in your sample um, depending on their polarity into the corresponding solvent. So if you have a really um, non-polar compound, it will most likely go into the hexane fraction and a very polar compound will go into the water fraction. If you're not a chemist, this will mean nothing to you, but for any chemists out there, I just thought I'd give a little brief overview of what this means. So I'm working from one of my extracts that showed good activity in my testing. Um, I need to speak about that actually because I did finally text, test my extracts and got some nice results. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be cracking on with this week. I'm just going to continue with my partitioning now. I have just remembered that I'm on solvent duty, Ooh, so I need to check how much solvents we have and collect whatever we need. Uh, we don't have very much methanol. Oh no, we do. We've got lots of methanol. Fantastic news. I don't need to collect too much. Oh yeah, they're full. Hooray! I don't need to collect methanol, but I do need to collect some solvents for me for my partitioning today. So I'm going to order them. 
then go down to the store oops and collect them time to collect the solvents Ugh. only got two solvents so i just need my one winchester carrier say hello joelle hello <laughs> joelle is my well assistant for now. assistant for now do you want to introduce yourself joelle joelle <laughs> here in the embassy yeah yeah new phd student yes just started last week joelle also it. streams on twitch yes so you'll have to give me your details and i'll put it okay I'll perfect put it down i will you. do so but joelle's gonna help me out joelle's gonna be my videographer so she's gonna gonna film me doing some chemistry so i already explained yesterday when i was filming that i'm doing a, a fractionation yeah so i'm just gonna shake it up because my angles yesterday were awful okay we're ready yeah and release my pressure and third time there we go fantastic job Jewel yes <laughs> thank you <laughs> happy friday i've not been very chatty this week because there's been a lot going on as you might have seen so there is a new phd student in the lab called joelle who you met in earlier in the video and joelle is fantastic she's been helping me out this week so i've not really had much time to actually sit down and chat to the camera because yeah we've been very busy just cracking on with my work i thought i'd give a little bit of a research update because i haven't spoken about my work for a while i always used to go on about my bioassay all the time so you'd always see me um, plating up my plates with my bacteria in the microbiology lab but I'm actually moving more to the chemistry side of things again which is quite nice to just mix things up so I've actually finally tested my marine invertebrates so the extracts from them which is just a mixture of all of the compounds that I've managed to retrieve from the marine invertebrate tissue so I've managed to test all of my extracts now for their anti-fouling bioactivity which means that I now have an indication of which extracts to move forwards with to try and find the active anti-fouling compounds so that's the stage I'm at now I am trying to purify some of these extracts alongside with the help of Joelle I am back uh, someone came into the room and I went into panic mode ah someone someone's come in and seen me filming <laughs> um where was I what was I speaking about yeah so I've tested my marine invertebrate extracts now so now I know which ones that I want to purify further so that's the stage that I am at now so alongside Joelle who's been helping me out we've been purifying one of my fractions this week um, and now I'm going to just be doing continuous cycles of purifying the mixtures and the fractions and then testing them to see which fractions to try and purify further and the main goal is to try and find pure compounds with good bioactivity until I finish my PhD I'm going to be very very busy yeah so that's my research update I was supposed to be going to Sweden uh, next weekend for a course on marine chemical ecology but Sweden currently aren't letting UK residents into into Sweden so I don't think I'm going to go ahead with that I've got no flights booked anything so I think I might just have to uh, cancel that one because it sounds like it's going to be too stressful to get to Sweden and be like oh are you gonna let me in and they say no and I have to figure that whole process out to try and come back uh, what else has been going on um, yeah so I had the conference last week as well as you saw which was really really great I'm actually going to upload in the next few days um, my presentation that I did at the conference I took a screen recording of the uploaded uh, session from the conference so I'm gonna post that on here if you guys would like to see um, my conference presentation and yeah I don't think there's anything else going on really it is nice to be back and to be busy again but things are gonna be very very busy <laughs> until I finish my PhD like I said Cool, so if you don't see anything else from me today, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my vlog and me being back in the lab because I know that's what a lot of you guys enjoy seeing. How 
was your week? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys are up to and how it's going. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.